So I looked up the definition of influence, and what it means is the capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of others. And I think the word that really stands out to me is development. You know, and I think about the, the different networks and experiences that I've had, it's really centered around development. I was a corporate executive for over 20 years, and really you're measured by how successfully you develop other people. And five years ago, when I first started my business, it was product coaching, you know, really focused on helping others learn from experiences. Through Ad Astra, we focus completely on helping women lead more authentically and learn from different experiences. And the last community that I think about is a product community here in San Diego, where we've built 1,500 people that work together and collaborate. So I think that's really what influence means to me. It's the bringing together of all the different people that you know, the experiences that you have. Um, to create new partnerships, to foster collaboration, and to really help uh, think of ways that you can have a positive impact on others' development. Um, at Ad Astra, our mission is get to even. And what we mean by that is there's an equal number of women entrepreneurs and male entrepreneurs, but also there's equal number of women investors and male investors, because that's where decisions get made. That's where funding happens. It's that's who decides what products, what services, gosh, what benefits we all get. And so when I think about, you know, organizations that are champions of women, I look at the numbers. Like, are there equal numbers of male and female managers? How about the executive team? And then the boardroom. Do we have an equal number of women at the table? So that's what a champion of women means. It's, are we even? Do we have the numbers there? We need to get there.